Namaste people, welcome to Bluntly Sassy, it's Nilima. So in one of my videos on how to get curls overnight without any heat, I used a hairspray and I asked you guys if you wanted to know how to make it. A lot of you guys loved that video and also commented me wanting to know how to make it. So this is what today's video is about and if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it somewhere. So you can go ahead and watch that video after watching this video. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you how to make a DIY homemade hair setting spray and then I'm going to tell you how to use it the right way. So let's get started. In the first method, take 3-4 cup of boiling hot water, add 2 tablespoons, not teaspoon which is smaller, add 2 tablespoons of sugar, mix it well. Here I am showing you that it is fuming hot. Let it cool and make sure you filter it before using it. In second method, take one cup of boiling hot water, squeeze two lemons and add half teaspoon of salt. Mix it well, keep it about for 8 hours and filter it, pour in an any empty spray bottle adding 3-4 drops of essential oil. These are the two methods by which you can make hair setting spray but I personally don't use this second one because the lemons and salt makes my hair very frizzy and I get little antennas all over my head so I prefer to use the first one. But I strongly recommend you make both the hair sprays, test it on yourself to decide which works for you better. So I use the hair spray which we made by the first method and it is ready to use. So first thing I want to tell you through my experience, when you make your first batch of hairspray, make only in small quantity and keep the proportions of sugar as I told you, otherwise it will not hold your hairstyle. Because I remember when I made my first batch, I was afraid that it is going to get too sticky. So I kept the concentration of sugar very low and it did not hold my hairstyle and it did not work for me. So only make a small batch when you're making it for the first time and keep the proportions of sugar as I told you because some people have wavy hair and some people have silky straight hair to so see how it works for you and then from there you decide the proportions of sugar that works for your hair. Now coming on to how to use it. Well at first apply only a thin layer, let it dry and from there you decide you need second or third layer but do not pour your hair with hairspray in just one go otherwise your hair will become very crunchy it will not be good to work with if you are making a hairstyle so it is exactly like how you use a normal market bought hairspray if you use a lot of hairspray in just one go your hairs will become very crunchy and it will not be good to work with I'll give you my review on does it really work. I'm going to say honestly that it is actually a medium hold hairspray. Do not expect this to work exactly like the market bought normal hair because those are lots of chemicals. So they do the job, they hold your hairstyle, they give you a lot of texture but then they damage your hair a lot. But this one, even if it makes your hair crunchy and even if you have overused it, it will not damage your hair. So say for example if you are making a puff and you need 2 pumps of normal hairspray then you are going to need 3 to 4 pumps of this homemade hairspray to hold the same hairstyle. But this will obviously will not damage your hair. And the last thing is I know I said that essential oils are optional but I would strongly recommend when you use it especially lemongrass essential oil because it is really good for dry hair like mine and I also have dandruff issues and seasonal changes so it is really good for your hair and it smells really good so it's a great remedy to suppress the smell of sweaty hair thank you guys for watching this if this video helped you then make sure to give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video bye